flow. Frosty flow. And I'm so. Frosty flow. And I'm so. Frosty flow. And my flow. Cost me flow. Life for the party. Party. Huh? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey. That is right, Ooh. Kiki. I yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, welcome yeah. back to Sister Circle Live. We got the young boss herself, Kiki Palmer, yes. down to the table. What was that we were listening to? So you was listening to Bossy. Yeah. That record premiered on Star. You know, that's when you in the club, when you in your bedroom getting ready. You yeah. got to go to yeah. the club. Yeah. 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 I love it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, we got to get in your business. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Are you single? Oh. <laughs> it's somebody. She's not skinny and oh, grinning, right. honey. Right. She's skinny oh, and grinning. Yeah. I keep those things to myself. Nice. You know, Miss Kiki, you know, Miss Kiki definitely has some good things in her life. Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you keep, you know, all of that business away from the industry, or do you date industry guys? So I've did, dated guys in the industry before. Um, and I have not dated mm. guys in the industry, and I think that I'm more comfortable dating guys outside of the industry. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. to say that you can't find guy, great guys in the industry, right. but I think so much of my life revolves around that, that mm -hmm. it's good to be with someone, spend my time with someone that isn't just something totally different. Say, yeah. I do the same. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it just make you feel chill. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's normal. recycled, it seems like, in the industry. <laughs> well, oh, if she took you better <laughs> say that, girl. I mean, that's true. Yes. Well, I think there's a misconception Ooh. that everyone thinks that because you're in an industry that you have to date people in the industry and I think sometimes it can even make other people in, in, in the industry feel that way yeah. mm -hmm. but there are so many fish in the sea you can find them in any ocean you look at and you know you are very 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 social on your social yes. media so let me ask you a question yes do you actually answer people when they write to you in your DMs Okay, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, because um, when I post something like on my page that I, I'm specifically looking for feedback, like if I'm talking <laughs> about life or mm -hmm. something for the millennials, um, and I'm looking for their feedback, then I really will go into my DMs and I'll respond to a lot of stuff. But sometimes it is very overwhelming, mm -hmm. and I can't respond to all of it. But I'll go in periodically and say something, and people be like, what? Uh -huh. you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll say stuff for sure, yeah. Awesome. Now, the word on the streets, okay, <laughs> is that Ice Cube gave you some advice when you was 14 about oh, boys. Yes, he did. What did he tell you? Um, so I think what he was really telling me, which I think as growing up as a growing up as a child actress or a child actor or entertainer, um, is that you're a kid, right? But you can't forget that you're also growing out of that. So when you may not see that you're developing as a woman and you're still kind of being that child, understand that other people are seeing that you're growing into mm -hmm. a woman. And mm -hmm. so don't allow them to take advantage of you. Um, you know, kind of own your power and, and understand how other people are looking at you, even if that's not how you're looking at yourself. Right. Oh, and I think good. that was really great that's advice. Good. I think that's great yeah. advice for anybody, but I will say as a child uh, entertainer, sometimes you can that can be a confusing stage. Mm -hmm. That adolescent stage can be more confusing for yeah. you than others because people are still referring to you as a child yeah. and you're trying to be uh, get older right. yeah. and it's, it's it's very different so yeah. I, I love what he said to me it stayed yeah. with me for all my life as you can yeah. see yeah. That's right. yeah. Never forgot. and then when all the business too. deals come too you know you gotta take that child hat off yeah, yeah. yeah. going on with the percentage yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 you ain't okay. never lied okay then well listen <laughs> to your Instagram. I just love it. I just, girl, you do it. Let me tell you something. You are a key key. <laughs> girl, listen, as a Southern Belle, I love the Southern Belle in so the shade. Thank you, thank you, girl. She's like, the gag is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> coming to y'all this holiday Please, yes. But you know, what I love about the internet, you know, being a traditional talent, starting out without the social media yeah, era, yeah. Um, I really love it now because it gives me the opportunity, like my mom always says, you don't wait for people to tell you who you are. You that's show them who you are. I know, that's so right. it allows that's... the opportunity. Seriously, my mom is always like that. And it allows me to be able to create my new content mm -hmm. and then bring it elsewhere, whether I want it to develop into a longer form mm -hmm. or a shorter form or whatever it is. So it really allows me to kind of be that producer and mm -hmm. that creator that mm -hmm. I also mm -hmm. am. Yeah. So how did the gag is come about? Like, where did you think, like, this gonna be popping? Oh, I'm about to do this. You know what? <laughs> I don't think I really realized that it would, I definitely, not even I think, I know for a fact I didn't think that it would be come mm -hmm. how it did because the gag is, I mean, maybe not said in that way, but the mm -hmm. gag has okay. been around for years. Yeah. 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 But what happened was I heard, uh, it was a lady on the Pimp that I was working with, mm -hmm. a wardrobe lady, um, and we were talking back and forth, and every time she would always say the gag. And mm -hmm. I'm like, Rainy, what was what, this gag thing mm -hmm. she keep doing? And she was like, oh, girl, the kids, no, it's the gag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she started saying it to me, and I'm like, I love that. So I just started always doing it on my Snapchat and everywhere, and then 
everybody started being like, I love that, I love that. And then I just gave the people what they wanted. Yes, I love that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. You know, you talk a lot about your upbringing, but who else did you look up to uh, in Hollywood or, mm. or continue to look up to? It would be Queen Latifah without a doubt. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Queen Latifah without a doubt. My mom was very, I mean, all, I, all my role models are people in my life. My mm -hmm. mother, my grandmother, my father. But my mom used to tell me as a kid growing up, she said, you know, you don't have to hold, you know, be, be beholden to what anybody thinks mm -hmm. of you. You can be many, many things. And she would always say, if you want to look at somebody, look at Queen Latifah. Look what mm -hmm. she done. She never lets anybody hold her down. So my yep. mom always showed me, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, the kind of people that she would like me to aspire to be yes, like. Yes. And as I grew older and I got closer to those people, specifically Queen Latifah, I realized that my mom was 100% correct. Come on, mom. Um, because she was a mentor to me. She taught me how to get what I deserve. She taught right. me how to be that producer and that creator. And she just really is like a great woman. She the mom, mom. queen. Yeah. Yeah. She's one of your favorites. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Queen is yeah. the mom. Queen Latifah. Well, you're a beautiful woman in Hollywood. You're a beautiful thank brown you. woman in yes, Hollywood. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Do you think that anything is changing for the brown girls in Hollywood? You know, colorism is real. Mm. We can't lie about that. You know, it is very, very real in a people of color community. I honestly, no matter what, if you're Hispanic or if mm. you're Asian or whatever it is, I think colorism is honestly a big thing. And I just try to tell people you can't think about that. You can't let that kind of thing hold you down or, or say I didn't get this or I didn't get that based on this. And even if it may be true, the reality is, What's for you? Mm -hmm. Can't no one yeah, ever take true, baby. from you. My mama okay. What's for you? I don't somebody. care if you're brown, whatever it is, or if you're a boy or a girl, if you're gay, if you're straight, whatever somebody try to say that you can't be in order mm -hmm. to be successful, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because what God has for you is so, for you. For you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would tell myself in, in, in terms of that. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Well, Kiki, you are such a true role model. Yes. Yes. Not only your peers, but for folks like us too. Yes. Like we'd love to see you shine. Yes. You're, just a, you. you're just a bundle of joy. Can we give it up for yes. Kiki? Yes. 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 Breaking film oh. pimp is available on all digital yes. platforms, iTunes, Thank Amazon you. Video, Google Play, and more. You can also catch it on cable and satellite on Comcast, Cox, Time, Warner, and others. Give it up one more time for Kiki Bummer. Yeah. Yeah.